I wasn't familiar with the novel before I read the script, uh, but you know, obviously went back and did did my duties and. Um, the, the book was a very valuable resource to have when we were on set because it is written from Jane's perspective. So Jane is a maid at this very stately home. Um, she's been working for perhaps eight years and she's been spending six of those years having an affair with one of the sons of another estate nearby. And it is through her relationship with him and these kind of tragic circumstances around both of their lives that she is able to kind of transmute that, that feeling and that pain into becoming a writer later on in her life, um, which we also get to see. Good morning, Beachford House. Jay, is that you? 11 o'clock. Not met like this before. I was really enamored with the, with the script um, when I read it. And I went back and I read the book that it was based on. And what is really lovely about the script is that Alice Birch, who adapted it from Graham Swift's novel, uh, kind of created this, this alternate reality of Jane in her later years that is only alluded to in the novel. Um, but it meant that we kind of got to see the result of some of the the context in the story. And so it was very exciting to kind of imagine that new future. And that's really kind of what, what sealed the deal for me. I wasn't familiar with the novel before I read the script, uh, but, you know, obviously went back and did, did my duties. And the book was a very valuable resource to have when we were on set because it is written from Jane's perspective. And so much of her pathology is, is, makes up the book. So it was this very uh, nice little, um, you know, wealth of information about what is going through her mind and, and what this day means to her and uh, where she might go from here that kind of, we could always kind of draw back to. He's studying, is he? What are you doing? Studying. We didn't do any chemistry tests or anything. We just just like each other as people. Based on who he is as a person, he just deserves this moment and, and, and everything more. I mean, he's uh, one of the loveliest people you'll ever meet. He's also hilarious, which I find challenging because I want to be the funniest person in the room. So it's hard to kind of compete with him over that one. He's the best person I, I could have hoped for to, to make that movie with and to kind of go through that experience with. I wish I could take you out. Champagne and oysters. I've got to get married, become a lawyer. That's what's expected of you, yes. Eva is a very, very visually specific director. It's easy to kind of show up on set and say like, oh, let's just f figure it out on the day. But Eva is the kind of person that has thought about it for months and months and months. And I believe she, you know, shot listed everything multiple times and that instills a great amount of trust, you know, in, in, a, in a crew and in a cast because you, there's no question about what your, your credit to the movie is being used for. I think we all, by the time I saw the movie, you know, it was, it was a pleasantly surprising because it was almost exactly as I had hoped and expected because she was so deliberate with what she wanted on set, um, which, is a, which is a real gift. We had wonderful conversations about the character and about life in general and so much of what we talked about went into the, the context of the character. I want to write about life. Pain and anguish. I haven't done those kind of scenes with a male director, so I don't have any personal experience as to what that experience would be like working with a male director and what the differences are, but I think it definitely helped that Eva was, you know, was not um, a prude about it. You know, I think that Eva just had this like very realistic understanding of, you know, this is what nudity means. This is what the image means. This is what we can all, you know, glean from this image and, and this is, you know, where it stands in the context of the story. And it was that kind of relaxed attitude that she had about it that probably, you know, made it 
far less nerve-inducing for me to, to go into those scenes. And it was, like, obviously beyond my wildest dreams to work with uh, Olivia and Colin, and, and it was very nice to have that kind of experience and that history going into this job. But it always makes me so happy when there are actors that I meet who have been receiving these, these accolades for the incredible work that they're doing for far longer than I've even been acting and they can still be excited by it because I think that that's always a challenge is to feel like um, you know things can still be new and you can still be learning and you can still be excited by the projects that you're a part of and Olivia and Colin I think just have that kind of vibrancy and that um, they're always seeking seeking kind of something new and something interesting and and you know, they're definitely not the kind of actors that just come in to do the job. You know, they're very dedicated to their to their jobs, even even on little movies like this one. <laughs> but I think that any advice that I received from them was probably received indirectly, and it was just you know how they hold themselves. Is they're they're kind of admirable people, and I I hope to be I hope to be included in that canon of people like that at some point in my life.